Hi, it's Victor and I'm going to show you one way you could create tunnels in Revit. So this is my sample Revit topography, this little mountain right here. Uh, first of all, I need uh, to create a, a special type of floor. This floor has two layers, I'm going to show you right now. Edit type. The top layer which is with constant thickness and uh, grass material and the bottom layer which is with uh, variable thickness and the earth material. So I'm going to open Dynamo now. This is the same definition I have shown to you in my previous videos and I'm going to, ch to change this uh, element to select my topography. Like, like this, now it's selected and I'm going to choose this, this floor so as the floor has a uh, variable thickness uh, when we change the points of the floor uh, the bottom will stay the same but uh, the thickness will var vary over it so let's hit run and see what happens Let's discard the floor first, and this is it. So this is our new floor. Let's select the topography and delete it. I don't need it now. So this is my floor. The default thickness right here is 500 centimeters, but uh, here it has varied. The bottom is all the same. So now let's do the tunnel. I'm going to side view component model in place something something <laughs> and I'm going to select the sweep I'm going to sketch path I'm going to use a spline you could use whatever I just like uh, I just happen to like splines like this maybe okay I'm going to copy the path right now, you'll see why later. <laughs> I'm going to hit OK and select the profile. This is a profile I have uh, created just for this purpose. You can see it in 3D. It's tunnel form like this. So if I just uh, join now the floor with the tunnel this is uh, going to stay like this as you see it now it's going to stay filled with our terrain so to avoid that i'm going to create another sweep in the same family so i'm going to create sweep sketch path paste align to curve view and here is our path i hit ok now I select uh, another profile, Tunnel 2. I'm going to show you in 3D. This is actually just uh, the inside of this tunnel. Like this. It's exactly to the inside. I'm going to make a parameter for the visibility of this part. Call it visible inside. Change it to instance okay uh, you could uh, assign material to this you could create a parameter but for now this is it so I click finish model and now we have a solid tunnel here so I'm going to join the tunnel with our floor our topography floor like this and next I'm going to select my tunnel and uncheck the visibility parameter of the inside. So, this is it. This is our tunnel. As you can see now, it's void inside. We can quickly create a section view like this. Go to view. Fine. And this is it. Uh, 
this is how our tunnel looks like you can change it to shade it Three D once again. I'm going to show you just the section in three D. Orient to view section section one. So here it is the tunnel. Okay, so that's it uh, for now. Have a nice day. Goodbye.